All right, here's a planting skip. There's nothing planted right here. This is acceptable to video, I guess. <laughs> Josh came up to the farm today and he was talking about some questions that came up on the hay video that we have posted on YouTube. So he was asking me some of those questions this morning. I thought we'd come out here to the field and answer some of them. It just so happens that we had an error and somebody had a planter skip. And so this was planted in the spring. Okay, and so you can kind of see the height difference. It's just starting to put out the heads. It's in the flower stage there. A lot of people um, just, just wonder about the timing of things. And there's kind of a yield difference in, in timing, spring planted versus fall planted. Basically the fall planted can cut, sprout in the fall and even all winter long, it doesn't grow a lot. It stools out, it makes more leaves that even though they hang kind of close to the ground and it puts a lot more root mass together. And so when the heat does come, it, it, it has a little more substance to be able to draw nutrients and use the heat to grow. Right now, we feel like we're about a month behind schedule on cutting this hay. It's May 24th, and a lot of years I will have cut this by April 24th, or, or the first week in May. So we feel like we're uh, fully a month behind, just based on temperature, the coolness of the season, and we've had a lot of rain and, and snow this winter, which is, well, more, unusual. In, in a normal year, um, we like to really take advantage of the fall and the spring season to grow a big healthy crop like this because we have more temperate or mild temperatures. And by now we're a lot of times hitting the high 90s to 100 degrees. This year we haven't hardly had a 90 degree day here yet and, and the nights and the mornings are really cool. And so very optimal for this kind of crop. The, the tonnage and the yield on this is gonna be tremendous. And the timing uh, being the key question there is most of the time, if we're early enough in, in the fall, last week of September, first week of October planting this, then the winter months and the early spring months is when we get a tremendous yield on this. This will be cut uh, next week, the end of this week maybe. I mean, we're within seven days of cutting this to the ground. And, but by the 20th of June, we will plant corn in this field again. And then we'll turn around and plant it to corn. And in October, we'll chop the corn, but we'll probably be around 25 tons of, of corn silage um, on a double crop like that. I know that somebody was thinking, well, by taking that much uh, nutrients out of the soil and double cropping like that, are you hurting the soil or mining the soil? Uh, my answer to that is no. <laughs> in these desert climates, if I can keep a living root growing in this soil all the time, then all the organisms and all the microbes that are in the soil that make plants healthy thrive. If I fallow this and let this dry up, all I get is more weeds and all that, that micro culture in the soil, uh, it, it dries up and dies too. I'm not I'm mining the soil or damaging the soil, I'm, I'm building the soil. And, and, and you see that in the production of what we're doing here um, year after year in building the yields and building what, what these soils can do. Thank you.